Hey Sainers, welcome back to the Saints TV YouTube channel. Welcome to the Saints TV Round 5 Preview. Now you might have already seen, but I had a great chat with Swoo Bluke. The opposition point of view is a great channel, great magpie, knows his footy, and most of all he's a, he's a, he's a top bloke. So if you haven't watched that, please do. That went up yesterday morning and it's been really well received, so thanks for everyone for watching it so far. But if you haven't, definitely tune in. It's a big game. It's a, it's a really big game, this one, because... We're four and zero. We're getting a lot of a lot of Saints fans have messaged me in the last week or two saying, "Jakey, you know, we're not getting all the credit we deserve. We're not getting all the plaudits for what we're doing with the injuries that we've got and the way we're playing and the way we're beating teams and the fact that we're four and zero, 160 percent, first time since 2010. We don't really want to talk about 2010 when we're facing Collingwood, so um, we'll skip that. But I think we're getting a bit of the plaudits, you know. Like I've I watched on the couch. They had Cal Wilkie on, and they were very very complimentary. Um, and then I think there was a video clip of David King yesterday just kind of talking about how we go about our football and um, and if it stacks up and he firmly believes it does. And David King's been quite a critic for us. So the fact that he's gone through that, put in a good four-minute video analyzing the two-way running that our boys do um, and really showing how we exploit the opposition and really just work, just outwork them for four quarters until they break, essentially. Um, that was a really, you know, that was a really good video. So... I think we're getting the plaudits that we deserve, but I don't want to, I don't want to get sucked into that too much. You know, this week, it's a big week because we're playing the Magpies. They made a prelim last year. They play probably the most exciting football in the competition outside of ourselves at the moment. They're the second highest scoring team in the in the competition. We are the best defense. They go through the guts more than anyone. We go around the boundary more than anyone. So as much as it looks like two teams that play very similar football, which I believe they do. There's also some key differences. For this, I think we're going to see quite minimal changes. I mean, the teams do come out um, later tonight, but I think straight off the bat we can address that um, by tell there was no um, serious ankle injury in the end. So I think he's come up okay. I don't know if he's trained fully and if they're going to risk him at all, but there was no serious damage. So it sounds like he might actually play. I don't know if he could be the sub. But if not, he can come out. Tim Membry is a big chance to come in, and I think for a big game like this... He's mobile, um, he's a goal kicker, and he's just another focus for the Collingwood defense because they are a solid defense, but they can get got out. You know, like you look at what Brisbane did last week. Brisbane got out the back so many times because Collingwood love to press. They love to press very high up. You've got Maynard, you've got Crisp, you've got Dacos, who basically d runs his own show. And then you've got their captain in Darcy Moore, who pushes up very high as well. If they do that against us and... We can just have our running game going. I can I can see us exploiting that just a little bit. You know, for us, we kind of press up quite high as well. So there's a bit of a similarity again with the way we defend. But our two-way running is so good at the moment that we can afford to push up because we know we're going to push back. For me, Cordy might be the one that makes way, although he's kind of done his job. He's kicked a goal every week pretty much. Um, I think he only had three disposals up until three-quarter time last week. So I don't know. If that's worth persisting with, it looks like it's going to be a bit of a muddy day, a bit of a wet day at Adelaide Oval. We're the last game of the round. We're the sixth game. So the ground's going to possibly be teared up a little bit. Um, so I don't know if it suits him that much. So, you know, we look like we're pretty comfortable going with just Rowe. I don't think he's going to need too much of a chop out in the ruck. And if he does, you got players like Josh Battle, Mitch Owens can do it. Cameron Needy's probably going to get a go in there as well. So there's two or three other options. In terms of Collingwood... I'm, I've been, you know, very in awe of them in the last 12 to 18 months. You know, they were very similar to us um, in that, you know, they got a new coach. They were struggling before that. They always had a bit of the, ta they had the talent. Like we know they had the talent and McRae has just really come in and from day dot really like Ross imprinted his style. This is my way. This is the way we're going about it. We're going to get a full 100% buy-in because that's the only way it's going to work. And I believe this is going to take us all the way. And you know what? He was almost right last year. They should have made a grand final. They should have beaten Sydney in the prelim, but they didn't. But they're back this year, and they want redemption, and they've started the year very well. Albeit they had a little bit of a blip um, last week, but a lot of teams are going to go to the Gabba and, and lose. So I wouldn't look at that too much. I think they've got too many good players to... To perform like that two weeks in a row, they did concede, I think, 10 consecutive goals against Brisbane, which is very unlike Collingwood. But those are the sort of games that you've got to be weary of is because they're on the rebound. 
they know they need to rebound and they know that St Kilda want to take a scalp and they don't want to be that scalp. So um, I, I love how this game is built up because Collingwood need to, to rebound and we need to make a statement. So there's two teams that really, really need to perform in this game, which just sets it up to be just a fantastic game for a neutral to watch. They've got a very, very dangerous midfield, but like what Brisbane did, we can utilize the ruck and take advantage there. So we've got Rowan Marshall. They might put McStay in there, maybe even Frampton. I'm not too sure, but they're two players that Rowe would be looking at and going, I can run you off your feet. I can get you in the middle and then I can run around the ground and exploit you. And that's one key thing I noticed with Collingwood last week is that the first three weeks they had McStay in their forward line, had a target, kicked a lot of goals, took him out last week, put him in the ruck, they didn't have a focus. And Harris Andrews and these sort of defenders, Dara Joyce as well, were just you know, mopping it up, taking intercept mark after intercept mark. And if that's the case, again, they put McStay in the ruck and they go long, you could back, you know, Cal Wilkie, Dougal Howard, Josh Battle to do what they did last week and take a lot of marks between them. Assuming the weather's not too terrible, because if it's wet, I think then that plays into Collingwood's hands a little bit. But if it's dry enough, I think in the air, we can control that battle. Now, again, in terms of Collingwood's strengths, they've got a few, obviously. They're ranked second for points, ranked second for inside 50s ranked second for goal assists and ranked fourth for clearances. So, you know, despite not having a ruck, they still they I think they still almost won the clearances last week. So we're gonna be weary of them sharking off row. It's gonna be a battle of us, you know, doing that zone defense, really slowing them down and seeing if we can clog up the middle enough that when they go for those risky kicks, which they tend to do, like they're one of those teams that will back their skills and go for those kicks that maybe other teams won't. If we can kind of invite that and then just pinch it in the middle of the ground and go the other way, I think we can score a lot of goals off turnover. And last week, we scored about 12 to 13 goals off turnover. The AFL average is about six to seven goals. So we doubled that. And that's what we've done to teams you know, a lot this year. We're number one for you know, scores off turnover. It's going to be a good battle of our, um, our two-way running because we're going to need to do that. But also find those opportunities going the other way. When Collingwood look like they've pressed a bit too high, can we then use our skills, get through their press quickly enough to get it out the back? Because as much as the tools may be important for us in this game to utilize, I think that Higgins, Butler, Gresham, the smalls are going to be critical as well. And luckily for us, they've been in really good form, particularly Jack Higgins. Nine goals in two games, 40 disposals in two games. He's been red hot in that position. So that's a player that I think Collingwood are going to watch. For us, it's their smalls as well. They've got Ginevan coming back in potentially. Then obviously Jamie Elliott's a big one. And Majacek who plays that sort of Tim Membry role where he's not the tallest bloke, but he's always, you know, he's always leading, always marking and good for a goal. So it's a it's a massive game saying as I could go, I could talk about this all day, honestly, but for us, we just want to see what we've seen the, the first four weeks. You know, whether we win or we don't, I think, obviously, winning would be amazing and be a bonus. We'd go 5-0 and for the first time in 10, 13 years or whatever it is. But we just want to see that same game style. We don't want to buckle under the pressure. If we play our way, but we lose by five goals because Collingwood have played their way and they've just played it better, I'll take that because we'll learn from that and we'll move on. And I, I like that, you know, Ross, he said in his presser yesterday, you know, we want to put on a show. We're really excited about this opportunity. So... I love that enthusiasm. I love that he's taking on the challenge and I know the boys will too. Maybe last year I would be really, really worried about this game and thinking, shit, there's no chance we can win this. But it's a nice feeling that if we bring what we've brought in the first four weeks, there's always a chance for our boys now. If we bring our best, we can win this. And you look at all the Collingwood supporters online, a lot of them are, you know, quite conscious that, geez, St Kilda could beat us. You know, we're we're a good team, but St Kilda are playing some pretty inspirational football at the moment and um, like Mitch Owens we haven't really glossed on but he's a he's a nightmare of a matchup for any defender in the competition so I can't wait to see how he goes off the back of his rising star Caminiti Filippo he's made for the big stage and this is going to be a big crowd in Adelaide Oval home crowd as well for him and for a lot of our boys Naz as well Cal Wilkie um, just to name a few so um, yeah I can't wait for it saying as we're going to be at the Bentley Social from three o'clock so if you're in Victoria and you want to come along rsvp on facebook uh, i think we've nearly sold the place out it's capacity 250 i think we're going to exceed that and that's the first time we've ever done that so it's going to be a massive day collingwood they want to rebound us we want to go five and zero, oh, stay on top but most importantly it's just a challenge and we're in game of the round saying how good is that that we're we're in match of the round for the gather round who would have thought that at the start of the year it's so exciting it's great to be part of and i love the fact that 
St Kilda is so relevant in every discussion, talking about football. Some people think we're top four chance if we win this week. I don't buy into any of that. I'm just enjoying the ride and, um, yeah, can't wait to watch the game on Sunday and see how the boys go against one of the form. And one of the flag favourites, really. Collingwood, they're probably up there with Melbourne in terms of flag favouritism. And uh, this would be a big scalp and a, another, I guess, reassurance that if we get the job done, the boys are going to trust this system even more, knowing, jeez, we got the job done against a good team. Ross knows his shit and we're executing it. Let's keep this party going. So it's going to be a massive one, as I've said about 50 million times. I can't wait for it. I uh, hope you enjoyed the video saying this. Please like, please comment, and most importantly, subscribe. Let's get to 7,000 subs by the end of the year. We're, I think, on 6,000, nearly 200 or something, which is awesome. A couple of days to go. Bring it on. Thank you, Sainers. Take care. Enjoy the rest of your week. And as always, go, you mighty Sainers. Let's get the job done, boys.